Brooks & Davis Real Estate Firm, LLC, offers more value than any other good full-service real estate brokerage firm when it comes to the sale of your home. We offer at least 27 things that contribute to your home selling in the least amount of time at the highest price. To receive our free home selling pamphlet, email us at info at or call 713-665-8329. Thank you. We also assist people who want to purchase homes or who are interested in getting their real estate license. Visit us at www.brooksanddavis.com. Welcome to the Prime Real Estate Network. I welcome everyone for tuning in this week. Thank you so much. Um, we've had a great time producing this real estate podcast, and I hope everyone's been able to take in valuable nuggets of information from every episode. As usual, I urge everyone to follow us on social media. I'm your host, Rick Davis, and you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Prime Real Estate Rick. If you are interested in buying, selling, or investing in real estate, I urge everyone to go to our webpage at brooksanddavis.com, leave your contact information, and we'll be more than delighted to reach out to you and get your needs serviced. As always, my co-host here is not only a two-time author, but a real estate broker and serial entrepreneur. I'd like to introduce to the Prime Real Estate Network audience, my co-host, Mr. Larry W. Brooks. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Or good evening. You know, sometimes you get tied up with the different times, but uh, it is great to be in front of you again today. Um, things have been awesome. You know, as, as Rick was saying, I want to most definitely reach out and say, listen, guys, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Please feel free to share. Uh, please feel free to always uh, feel comfortable to reach out to our guests. You know, we bring them on because of their knowledge. We bring them on because of their platform and so that they can share with you guys so that you can grow wherever you are in your business or where you are um, in your life role that you may be looking to. So, uh, Rick, things have been good. I had a great week and um, I'm back in this seat, man. I got to stop letting these these people come in and take my spot. Oh no, man! To it's great to have you back. Um, we had a great episode, but you know, it's always a positive have Mr. Brooks here. So I thank you for making some time in your schedule to sit in with us this week. <laughs> but I really want to urge all of our viewers and listeners, like Mr. Brooks said, please support our guests. Not only are they invaluable resources, but they are some of the most reputable business people mm -hmm. that you'll have the opportunity to work with in the city of Greater Houston. And without no further ado, I would like to introduce today's guest. Today's guest is Miss Tiffany Williams. She is the CEO and creative director of Twice Media Productions. You may have seen Miss Tiffany on Instagram. Um, her company does a lot of great advertising. They do a lot of great media production. So without any further ado, Miss Tiffany Williams, how are you? Mm -hmm. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Got the yeah, going. I know yes, that's right. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Let's go. <laughs> no, it's. I'm, I really thank you for being here with us today because it's. It's funny. Um, Larry and myself are both really active marketing on Instagram, and I mean, months before I even had an idea that I'd have an opportunity to interview you. Of course, I've seen some of your sponsored ads, some of the ads that you guys have had on Facebook and Instagram. So it's almost as if I've had an opportunity to interact with you before today. So thank you for sitting in on our show. Well, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Larry, um, you know, it's funny because with this platform that we have, it gives us an opportunity to reach out and be a lot more visible. I agree. I know at Twice Media, you provide real estate agents, insurance, business people, entrepreneurs, that same opportunity. So could you please discuss for our audience how you help business people and entrepreneurs turn their vision into a reality? Absolutely. So essentially what we do is we help brands communicate their message using the power of video technology. So we'll sit down and devise a strategy based on the goals that that particular business is trying to achieve. And then once we have that strategy intact, we'll figure out the best type of video technology to execute. So that could be traditional video marketing. That could be some social media um, advertising. Um, that could be some virtual reality and 360 video, oh, wow. or we could even teach you how to shoot professional video from your mobile device. So whatever the need is, we figure out what's the best way to execute with the different type of video technology that's available. 
So as far as the different types of business people in different industries, can you give us some examples of what type of business people and entrepreneurs you've been able to help with your services? So we primarily target corporations and large scale nonprofits, but we do have some small business clients. Um, so if you are a real estate agent or a solopreneur or someone that's looking to start a video blog or, or just want to get your brand out there, then we do have classes available where we can teach you how to do stuff from your mobile device. Uh, we have some packages available that could help you just kind of get started until you're ready to make that bigger investment. Um, so it, it varies. It, it really is just anyone looking to communicate their message internally or externally. When you decided to start your production company, what need in the market were you hoping to fill? Because a lot of times we have um, viewers and listeners who, when they turn on the episode, may not necessarily have an idea that they would need your service. So I want to give you the platform to let everyone know what it is and how you can help people, even if they don't think they're ready to move forward with something from a video production standpoint. So the time for video is right now. Absolutely. <laughs> video yeah. is all over the place. Um, you, you look at uh, social media platforms such as Facebook and Twitter that started exclusively as text-based sites. Mm -hmm. And now they are ex almost all video. And it's because people are consuming video. Right. And consumers expect video. So when I go to your page looking for your product or service, I want to see who you are. Who am I potentially doing business with? You made the point earlier that even though you and I hadn't met before today, you already knew a lot about me because you've seen our videos on social media. Yep. So that is the perfect example of what we do. We're getting your brand out there. So it doesn't matter what level you are in the business, you could be a startup um, to five to 10 years in, regardless of where you are in the business process, you need video to communicate your message because it's powerful and it's a way to connect with consumers instantly. And it's no longer that you have to be a multi-million dollar um, corporation with this large advertising budget. You can be a small business owner and you have the same access to those same consumers the minute you post that video online. So don't wait. You should definitely do video now, no matter what phase you are in your business. And now I, I have to ask because smartphones, iPads, and certain consumer electronic goods does allow people to shoot their own video. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about what services and what expertise your company can add to make sure that you're not just shooting video or producing videos, but you're producing high quality, high end videos that will promote the message that you're trying to get across. Mm -hmm. Well, so there are a lot of uh, mobile devices out there that can shoot high quality video, as you said. There's, you know, that the mobile devices are shooting 4K now. That's the same level of video quality that we're shooting with with our professional grade cameras. The issue is the reason it doesn't always come out looking like that is because the person doesn't necessarily know how to manipulate it or add the right tools to make it be the high quality level. So there are apps out there, there are tools out there, there's a number of resources. We also offer a class on how to use your um, mobile device to shoot better looking video and photos. So there's, there's resources available so that you can create something that presents your brand in the way that you want to be remembered. Right. Um, if you don't necessarily have the financial wherewithal to make that bigger investment in a full scale video production. But I'll make the point that even a lot of my corporate clients will take the class because they have a lot of internal communications that they right. have to get out and they want the video to look a certain way, but they don't necessarily have the budget or the time to bring in a full service production company every time they need to get a video out. Um, and so they can start doing it, their, you know, themselves. And so we have a number of corporate clients that do that as well. No, and I mean, of course they would take advantage because what other production company is going to educate their clients and provide them quality video production? So, I mean, it was almost <laughs> a no-brainer. If you're offering a class, absolutely, I'm in. Well, yeah, and a lot of people said to me, don't you think that that's going to take your business away by giving them, you know, the secrets and how to do it? But we've actually experienced the opposite. They take our class, and we have two types of people that take it. You, you take the class, and they see how easy it is, and they do start to produce their own videos. Yeah. And then they don't, they, you know, they only call us when they do need to do those bigger projects. And then you have those that take it. They see how much time and effort and everything that goes into it, and they're like, oh, no, we're just – 
we're just gonna pay you to do it. I'm so. like that second person. That's, that's, <laughs> Brooks and Davis is that second person. <laughs> second person. What? Hey, <laughs> man, let the expert do what the expert do. No, because and this is something that, and I know it's tough, Miss Williams, because it's hard to inflate your own tires or toot your own horn, <laughs> for lack of a better phrase. But what I think you provide for clients that's invaluable is not only do you produce videos, but I think we would be doing your services. We would be undervaluing your services if we didn't talk about the VR, virtual reality, mm -hmm. the green screen work that you're able to do. These are things that you can't replicate at home. Most consumers don't have the technology at their fingertips to do VR. Mm -hmm. And the thing that I think is really intriguing how most people think, well, maybe I'm not ready for virtual reality. Maybe that's too far into the future, but that's where everything is going. And if you're the first person in your industry to come to market with presenting your messages in that format, you'll never not be the first person again. Mm -hmm. So I let's mean, talk. Not even just the first person, but just being in that, in that line of work. Because if your competitors are doing it and you're not, consumers are noticing that. But, yeah, like he was saying, Tiff, what is your th what's your thought on that? So you definitely want to get in on something while it's new so that you can figure out how to best leverage it for your brand. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of opportunities there and it's not as um, far out as people think. Right. Um, it, it is something that you can access as a small business. Now you might have to go the 360 video route um, that's a little bit more cost effective, but it's still a way to differentiate your brand. And mm -hmm. it's a way to fully immerse consumers in your brand, because when they put on that headset, they're seeing whatever you want them to see. And it's it's a unique experience because, yes, you know, you're controlling what they see, but they can turn around, look up, look down. Yeah. So they're kind of controlling their own experience. And so it's this it's this, you know, this this thing between both you and the consumer where they feel in control, but you're essentially in control. And you know, consumers want to feel like they have some yeah. power over their decision. Right. right. Um, so it's, it's a unique way to, um, to get people on board with your brand. And because it is something that not everyone is doing, it's a prime opportunity to jump on it now. I agree. Yeah. And I'm, I have to ask, um, for your larger corporations, because you know, they have budgets and they're able to be a bit more grandiose when they're um, working out their visions and they're bringing things to market. From a VR perspective, what type of things have you done to this point for corporations? Just to give the listeners and the viewers an idea of what is possible with today's technology. So yeah, there's a few things. So um, we had one particular oil and gas client. They actually had their own virtual reality app built internally, mm -hmm. um, but they came to us because they wanted to create an experience at their booth. And so we put their branding on the VR headsets. We set it up at their booth at this trade show. And we did it several times, but people were able to come and play this virtual reality game um, and learn how they could, the different items in an in a everyday home, which ones were made out of hydrocarbons. And so they got to, you know, play this game. And then if they won, they could get a gas card and things. So they made it fun and interactive. And it was a way to attract people to their booth. That's amazing. Um, so that's one example. Uh, we have some mm. other clients that have done 360 things, 360 video things. Um, I mean, there's, there's so many opportunities. But yeah. th at the core, it's really just having that person be fully immersed in your brand and you can literally put anything you want on those headsets no because wow. you just brought up a really interesting point speaking towards working with vendors and people who have booths at trade shows mm -hmm. i never considered that but so let's say um you're going to have a booth at a trade show a potential client could reach out to you mm -hmm. and you would be able to direct them into how to make their booth more interactive absolutely to to make it so that when people visit their booth they stay longer they're more immersed in your message, mm -hmm. and it helped to motivate them to gravitate towards what you want them to gravitate towards. Absolutely. That was actually how we got started working with corporations, because I went up to one of the major oil and gas companies, and I said, I have some ideas on how I can, how I can make your booth better and more interactive and more engaging. And they... They gave me a meeting, and yeah. so I kind of got my foot in the door that way and have been kind of working in that space ever since. But it was really just looking at something that I saw and figuring out a way to what I felt like would make it better and then having the nerve to go up to this major company and say, yeah. hey, here's what I think. And they could have easily said, you know, 
you, no, no, thank you. You know, you, you don't right. know what you're talking about. We're fine with what we're doing, but they actually listened. Yeah. And so um, I think that's a testament to say that you, no matter how small your business is, because I was literally just starting out, um, no matter how small your business is, you, you could, you can get in the door with a major corporation if you just think from an innovative standpoint. Yep. Innovative and be bold. Yes. It was a bold. <laughs> it was a, I mean, like you said, it was yeah. a bold move. But, you know, it's what makes it um, truly exciting to have you on the show today. And once again, I want to thank you for carving out some time for us. Absolutely. Is that from a video production standpoint, most people see the value in adding it to their advertising and promotion package, but they don't have anyone that they could reach out to directly. It's almost as if, well, I want to get video production done. Let me go to Google. And I'm going to Google video production. And then I'm going to see who comes up. And then I'm just going to say, ah, i try this one. But having you on the show gives everyone a true resource to reach out to. My question for you, and I want to make sure you have opportunity to share this with everyone. If this is the first time they've ever heard your voice, ever saw your face, and thought to themselves, that's what I need to be doing for my business. What would be the best way for someone to contact you and schedule a meeting to talk about the service and what Twice Media could do for their brand? The best way to get in touch with the Twice team is to go to twicemediaproductions.com. And you can fill out the form there. You can shoot us an email. You can give us a call. And someone will definitely um, help you and figure out exactly what message you're trying to convey and then to see what type of video technology is the best route for you where you are in your business. And, and man, make sure you join the newsletter, too, because I get I get mine every week. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. It's wait, funny wait. because so you have a little <laughs> newsletter, Miss <laughs> Williams. <laughs> she be dropping these tips, and I get mine. Matter of fact, I use them on my, my IG page, like, just to give my own Free nuggets. game. Oh, man. They, hey, woo, 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 woo. Everyone, Miss Williams gives free game <laughs> on Instagram. <laughs> so follow her on IG page, sign, and yeah. sign up for her newsletter. Yeah, sign up for that newsletter. Y'all don't even know. Yes. Yeah. Thank you for Maybe. being a loyal subscriber I to am. Twice Tips. So, mm-hmm. yes, every Wednesday we drop tips on how you can market your business, uh, different technology tips, yep. different video tips, DIY video tips, how you can do things on your own. So the new apps that come out that we've played around with, we give you um, that information. And you mentioned earlier that some people can't do like the green screen at home, but there's actually an app now where you can do green screen compositing all from your mobile device. Wow. So we're dropping <laughs> tips like that every Wednesday yeah. at 10 o'clock. And so I saw those tips and guess who's still not going to do it? <laughs> <laughs> not me. Not me. I'm, no. No. It's funny because um, we're going to take a short break this okay. week, but when we come back from our break if you wouldn't mind i want to talk to you a little bit about your educational background some of your business experiences and who mentored you or inspired you to help you evolve to the businesswoman you are today okay so everyone please stay tuned we're going to have a short break to hear a, spon- a message from our sponsor and we'll be right back to the prime real estate network brooks and davis real estate firm llc offers more value than any other good full-service real estate brokerage firm when it comes to the sale of your home. We offer at least 27 things that contribute to your home selling in the least amount of time at the highest price. To receive our free home selling pamphlet, email us at info at brooksanddavis.com or call 713-665-8329. We also assist people who want to purchase homes or who are interested in getting their real estate license. Visit us at www.brooksanddavis.com. Welcome back to the Prime Real Estate Network. I'm your host, Rick Davis. As always, I'd like to urge you to follow me on social media, on Instagram and Facebook at Prime Real Estate Rick. As always, my co-host, Mr. Larry W. Brooks is here. Yes, yes. And we have our special guest, the CEO and creative director of Twice Media Productions, Ms. Tiffany Williams. Thank you for joining us this week, Tiffany. Thank you for having me. No more hand claps. No. <laughs> <laughs> <Go on. laughs> I love it. I love it. Right. See, what y'all don't know is we plug that into the show today. So as you go back and watch the other shows that you haven't seen yet, you know, Tiff gets to be the honorary, the very first person to receive the clap. I, I felt like it was needed. So Right. So from this yeah. point forward, all guests will get the applause yeah. during yes. our first set. I almost feel like I want one from time to time, but I, I won't be selfish. I'll just let the guests have it. I'm just saying, Rick. No, I mean, and Miss Williams, once again, I want to thank you for being on the show this week. Um, in our first segment, we talked about 
Twice Media Productions, the services you provide for clients. But I wanted to speak to you about your personal history and experiences as a business professional and entrepreneur. If you wouldn't mind for our audience, could you talk a little bit about your background, where you're from, and any inspirations or mentors that helped you along your path? <laughs> as you was coming into Houston with real <laughs> to you. you was, oh, oh, my bad. I got off track. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, de I deviated just a moment. You deviated a little <laughs> yeah, bit. We're going to slide. We're going to find a way to plug uh, that in there, though. Yeah, I'm going to slide that in there. I'm going to slide that in there. So, yes. Yeah, so, I um, actually started my business straight out of graduate school. Um, Shout out. Yeah. Graduate um, school. I went to Michigan State, oh, um, but I also have to shout out my alma mater, Tennessee State, oh, the real TSU, because that's, right. where, I, that's, where, it that's, that's where it all started. That's where it all started. So I was um, freelancing as a multimedia journalist in graduate school and suddenly lost my dad and decided that life was too short. And so from that, got the motivation to start my own business. And I was fortunate to bring over some of my freelance clients onto the business. Right. And that's kind of what kept me afloat that first year. And then from there, I just kind of built up the business. And I will say that it was mentors that helped me get from that point to where I am now. Right. Um, and I believe in having multiple mentors. So having people in different areas. So, you know, having that business related mentor that industry related mentor that mentor for that spiritual growth um you know i feel like just having people in your corner having a team yeah. of people is what helps you um, because you don't want to go to the same person for every little thing because they might be really great at business but mm -hmm. they might be lacking in another area right. um and so you want to just kind of have that balance between your network and really rely on people that are good in certain areas and then of course be that for someone else too because i'm you know, I might be a resource on the business side, but I might not be what you need in another area of your life. So I think having multiple mentors is something that I firmly believe in. That's great because, yeah. you know, you always hear people talk about, you know, multiple streams of income and things of that matter. But diversifying the people that you keep yourself around, the people that you take knowledge from and mm -hmm. give knowledge to. That's I, that's good. I, that's the first time I've heard of that, but I, I'm not surprised. Yeah, absolutely. And um, shout out to Larry <laughs> for yeah, being my realtor. Mm -hmm. uh, when mm -hmm. I first moved to Houston, I didn't I, I literally came straight out of grad school and I did start high school here years ago, but I had never lived here as an adult. And so I didn't know where to live, what to do. You know, I was starting my own thing. So it wasn't like, oh, OK, I need to buy, I need to get a, a place next to my job. I literally yeah. was just kind of like dropped into this big massive city yeah. and Larry helped me find my first condo and uh he's been my realtor ever since so, so shout it, out those Brooks and you, Davis yeah <laughs> so for those of you that can't see me smiling I'm smiling <laughs> <laughs> no and I, I have to ask because um I'm sure you're aware there are media organizations for women and there are media organizations for women of color that type of thing what initially triggered your interest in getting into the media field because a lot of times when it comes to media, people are major in radio and TV because they want to work in front of the camera. But you built your brand and your business on the entire production. Mm -hmm. Have you always been, do you have an interest in engineering, planning, that type of thing? What kept you behind the camera as opposed to making your career in front of the camera? What a lot of people don't know is that I am a huge introvert. So mm -hmm. I have never had a desire to be in front of the camera. Stop. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I like being so essentially I love to tell stories. Yeah. I love writing and I went to school to become a novelist and I got introduced to the, new, the school newspaper and decided that journalism was a more practical route. Um, what I didn't know is that they don't make any money either because <laughs> my uh, one of my professors was like well you know journalism might be better than trying to be a novelist because if you don't have a book deal then it might be hard um, but I'm so glad that she inspired me to yeah. move to journalism because that is how I got introduced to multimedia journalism and that's where a lot of my internships and different opportunities came from and so I realized that video was just another medium through which to tell stories yeah. so no matter if I'm shooting photos I'm doing video or I'm writing Writing, I'm able to tell stories about real people um, and I get to do that for brands every day. So that's yeah. that's what I definitely love about it. But never had a desire to be in front of the camera that came after 
because I have been preaching to my my clients about the importance of putting yourself out there and yeah. people wanting to yeah. know who they're doing business with. And I was like, well, <laughs> if you keep telling them that they got to do it, then you got to do, do it. it too. Yeah. So. And it's, it's funny because you were one of the first platforms that I ever seen with video. And I've been in real estate 17 years, but I had never really seen people take up, you know, outside of doing like video of homes, but actual realtors getting in front and kind of just like being a part of it. Like just seeing uh, you put people on that particular platform, your that vision is when I started to see it. But mm -hmm. yeah, well, good. Yeah, I think everybody needs to look at video as an as a viable option for their business because mm -hmm. think about like you said earlier, you felt like you knew me even though we had never met before, never and it's before. because I put myself out there as much as I did not want to. I got over my fear and I just went for it, and now I'm able to. Um, have people that look to me as a resource. Mm -hmm. And so they might not be in, in the market for my service right now, but when they're ready, they're going to remember me because they see that Twice Tips newsletter Twice every tips, Wednesday <laughs> where I'm giving them valuable information and they're seeing me over and over again. So it's like going to a million networking events without actually having to leave yep. your space. Makes sense, yeah. totally. As always, um, we at the Prime Real Estate Network truly appreciate all of our guests. But today, especially with the information you've been able to provide, I believe that there's going to be more than a few viewers and listeners who hear your message and decide that today is the day to take action. Let's go. So, <laughs> no, no, that's right. so one last time, though, let's share all of your contact information okay. so that anyone who's been moved to move their business in a positive direction can reach out to you today as soon as possible to get the ball rolling. Best way to reach us is twicemediaproductions.com. You can follow us on any of the social media networks and you can access those through our website. You can call us, you can email us, all done through the website, twicemediaproductions.com. And let's make sure we let them know how they can sign up for your weekly newsletter. Twicemediaproductions.com <laughs> <laughs> forward slash subscribe. <laughs> And, no, it, and it, you know, to, before we let you go, another thing is I, you know, we have a segment that's called MythBusters, and so you know, I am a, I am a believer when it comes to uh, the video, but you know, what is a, what is one of the things that you think is one of the biggest misconceptions that people get or think about when it comes to video? I would say the biggest thing that people. Um, think is that they're not ready for video wow. that you have to have a media related background or you you know you have to have a certain type of personality to be on camera and that's not true I wow. mentioned that I'm a huge introvert and I had no interest on being in front of the camera but I understood what it could do for my business yeah and so I got over my fear I practiced practiced <laughs> practiced <laughs> practice, um, practice. I watched people that I admire that do it took tips from them and then just went for it. Yeah. And I was consistent with it. That's the other thing. So I would say, don't think that you're not ready. Um, you can plan out a video blog for the whole year. That's only 12 videos. And that yeah. sounds like a lot, but it's really not. You could shoot you know, a few every quarter and then have your videos ready to go and you can send them out once a month if wow. that's all your budget and your time will allow for right now. But you're, you, the, the point is that you want to be consistent so you can keep getting in front of those consumers that are in the market for your product or service. Wow. And that of course, sense. because if you're scared that you can't make yourself look good, they need to work with you because you're going <laughs> to make them look good. No, because I believe that's really what it all boils down to is that if you're nervous, and you don't think you're ready to make that step, work with professionals who's gonna make sure that you put your best foot forward mm -hmm. from that standpoint. Yeah, I'm actually working on a camera confidence curriculum to help uh -oh. people. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> because I find that so much, I, I have the most animated client that comes in and when, and you know, when they're public speaking or, you know, just talking in conversation, they are funny and happy and just this great person. Mm -hmm. And then they get in front of the camera and they just they get shy and yeah. timid and they just freeze up. And I just want to pull that greatness out on camera. Okay, and right. so it just takes a little pulling and a little getting used to. But um, but it's definitely doable. So I'm working on that. So that should be available soon. Okay. <laughs> Well, once again, thank you so much. And you have an opportunity to sit in with us anytime. Thank you. If we ever are in need of a co-host, <laughs> I would like to be able to add you to Are my you trying to hint up? that I come up missing too often, sir? <laughs> no, not, sir, I am not, not. We're not taking that entertainment today. <laughs> right. No, but on behalf of Miss Tiffany Williams, 
and my co-host, Mr. Larry W. Brooks. I'm Rick Davis. I urge you to follow the Prime Real Estate Network on YouTube. Uh, if you have an iPhone, we are also on iTunes. And if you have an Android phone, we're also on Google Play. All you have to do is search Prime Real Estate Network. All Larry and I ask is that you leave a five-star review and <laughs> leave a very nice message. And we would definitely thank you for doing so. So on behalf of the Prime Real Estate Network podcast, I'd like to thank everyone for tuning in. And I'll see you all next week. Thanks. Bye-bye. Brooks and Davis Real Estate Firm, LLC offers more value than any other good full-service real estate brokerage firm when it comes to the sale of your home. We offer at least 27 things that contribute to your home selling in the least amount of time at the highest price. To receive our free home selling pamphlet, email us at info at brooksanddavis.com or call 713-665-8329. We also assist people who want to purchase homes or who are interested in getting their real estate license. Visit us at www.brooksanddavis.com.